Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at circles. We'll see how to write them in standard form, how to graph the circles, and how to find the center and the radius of a circle and put it in general form. Let's get started. All right, this is the equation for a circle. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equal to r squared. Now, these numbers are special. They let you know where the center of your circle is. h is your x coordinate and k is your y coordinate and r is your radius so if your center was negative 3 6 and your radius was 5 all you're doing here is substituting here I would have x now notice that it's minus h so it should be minus negative 3 well minus negative is plus so I'm gonna write plus 3 squared plus y minus my k. That's my y, so 6 squared is equal to 5 squared, which is 25. Easy, right? All right, here I gave you a center and the radius. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you can substitute the equation properly. I'll show you the answer in 3, 2, 1. Here's your answer. I hope you got it right. All right, let's use the example that I just gave you. Here, we're gonna graph our circle using the, our equation. Now, the first thing you will need to look at is your center. You need to find out where your center is. So, if I only had this information, I would have to say to myself, all right, where's the center? My x-axis, my, I'm sorry, my x-coordinate is two and my y is 1. Okay. Uh, some people make the mistake of saying, oh, it's negative 2, and it's not. Remember, the equation is supposed to have a minus sign there, so if it has it, your x is just 2, and likewise, your y is just 1. If it, was, if it said plus 2, then the only way to get a plus 2 here is if your x was a negative 2. All right? So be careful with that. So I'm going to find 2, 1. So one, two, one. Here's my center of the circle. Now what I want to do now is find the radius. Remember, I only have this right now. And likewise, some people will make the mistake of saying, hey, my radius is 9. Your radius is not 9. You need to take the square root of this because remember, this was already squared. So to find out what it was originally, you take the square root of 9, which is 3. So I know my radius is 3. So here, from the center, this is what you do. Remember, a circle, all the points on a circle are equidistant from the center. So, since my radius is 3, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 to the right. 1, 2, 3 above. 3 to the left. 1, 2, 3 to the left. And 1, 2, 3 below. And then obviously, as best as you can, go ahead and you now have at least four points to help guide you to make your circle, hopefully yours, comes out better than mine. But I now have the graph, well, sketch of the graph for my circle. There you go. See that? That's why I'm not a doctor. All right, we've been using the standard form for, of the equation for a circle. Okay, very helpful, right? This is the general form of the circle. Yeah. Uh, when they want you to write it like this, you always start off in the standard form anyways. And all you have to do now is just work it out. Here, I have, and I'm still using the same example as before. Uh, here, I'm going to get x squared minus 4x plus 4, okay, plus y squared minus 2y plus 1 equals to 9. I'm going to go ahead and collect like terms now. I don't have 
anything for my squares here. I don't have anything for my x, so minus 4x. Likewise, don't have anything for my y. But I do have I do have some constants, and actually I have one here. Okay. It is on the other side though, so I can't touch it yet. Uh, 4 plus 1, that's just 5, equals to 9. Now notice that in the general form, you want the right side to be equal to 0. So I got to bring that constant over, I got to bring that 9 over. And my final answer is just x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 2y minus 4 equal 0. So I moved it from standard form to general form. All right, what if you're going the other way? What if you're going from general to standard? Or even if they give you a general uh, form and they ask you to graph it, well, notice that it's not very helpful. It doesn't tell you where the center is or how much the radius is. So you would have to put it in standard form anyways. Let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my x's together, x squared plus 4x in a parentheses plus y squared minus 6y and I'm going to move that 12 over so minus 12 equals negative 12. Notice that it's starting to look like our standard form. All they did was regroup things and move over that 12 but I have to be able to factor this. So I'm going to need to complete a square. What I'm trying to do here is this. Um, well, let me not do it yet. What I'm trying to do is get one more term in here so that I know how to factor this out. Minus 6y. So I'm missing something here. Now to get my missing number to complete a square, this is what you do. You grab the coefficient of the second term, that's 4, you divide it by 2 and square it. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4. Since I added 4 to the left side, I have to add 4 to the right side to keep things balanced. Okay, likewise, now I need to complete the square here. Uh, that's a negative 6 divided by 2, negative 3 squared is plus 9, so plus 9. All right. Now what that does is that it lets me factor this out because I want it to look like this. Something something squared plus something something squared equals, uh, let's see, that should be 1. So, uh, to factor this out, I already know what it is. It's x plus 2 squared. And this should be y minus 3 squared okay, equals 1. So, now I have it in standard form and... Notice that now you know what your center is. Okay, if you have to graph it, you can go ahead and graph it now. Your center is negative 2, 3. Remember, because this says plus here, that means this is the opposite of, of it. So negative 2, 3. And my radius, remember, I take the square root of whatever's over here. The square root of 1 is 1, so my radius is 1. There. Go ahead and pause the video and try this one out. Change this from general form to standard form. And this time, instead of just showing you the answers, I'm just going to work it out, but really fast without stopping. So I'll show you my work in three, two, one. All right, here I go. Uh, put these together, x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 4y. Move over that. So one, I'm going to complete my square, x squared plus 4x something plus y squared minus 4y something 
equals 1. This divided by 2 squared plus 2, look, plus 4, plus 4. Uh, same thing, plus 4, plus 4. Uh, plus squared squared equals 9. And this is x plus 2. And this is y minus 2. There. Uh, my center is a negative 2, 2. And my radius is 3. Hope you got it right. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Until next time.